Beware lest anyone cheat you through philosophy and empty deceit. According to the tradition of men, according to the basic principles of the world, and not according to Christ. Colossians chapter 2 verse 8. And the theme for reflection today is don't be robbed. In the first book of Corinthians chapter 11, Paul did not say that those who are unworthy cannot partake of the communion. We read those verses clearly. Paul was talking about the unworthy manner in which one partakes of the communion. Paul was writing to the Corinthian church whose members were treating the Lord's Supper with irrelevance, eating to satisfy their hunger with no consideration for others and even getting drunk. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verses 20 to 22. It is clear Paul was correcting them for treating the Lord's Supper like any other meal rather than partaking of it in a manner that was worthy of what our Lord Jesus had ordained it to be. They were treating the communion as something ordinary instead of seeing it as holy and set apart. And for us today to partake of the communion in an unworthy manner is to treat the elements of the communion as common, insignificant, and powerless. It is to treat the communion elements as natural and ordinary, as nothing more than a cracker and some juice, and to fail to recognize the potent, sacred force we get to hold in our hands. It is to disdain the elements and to be like the children of Israel who got so familiar with the manna God in his grace provided that they saw the bread from heaven as wordless. It is to simply go through the motions of eating the bread and taking the cup without valuing the significance and power they contain. Maybe you have never really understood why Christians partake of the communion. Maybe it is an empty ritual to you, something you do because your church conducts it occasionally. Maybe you are partaking of the communion because you heard healing testimonies from others and you are hoping it might work, it might work its magic for you too. Or maybe you see it as a sentimental custom or tradition that simply reminds Christians about the roots of their faith. If any of those maybe describe you, may I tell you that you have been robbed. The good news is God is reaching out to you as you listen to me today, I pray that as you keep on listening to teachings, to my teachings on the Holy Communion, your eyes will be opened and your body will fully receive the healing power of the Holy Communion. Brethren, the Bible says God's people are destroyed for lack of of knowledge your lack of knowledge about what the holy communion is really about has been destroyed had has been destroying you and you don't even know it it's time to take back what the enemy has stolen from you amen father god thank you for showing us that the elements of the Holy Communion are not common, insignificant, and powerless, 
but powerful to effect the healing you want us to experience. Thank you for your word that renews our minds to your eternal truths about the Holy Communion. We declare that we will not be robbed of its power. Amen. Beloved, don't be robbed of the blessings that Jesus has ordained to lavish his blessings upon you. The Bible verse on the screen says or reads that he who eats the bread and drinks the cup in an wedding manner will be guilty of sinning. The Bible verse is not talking about an wedding person eating, but rather talking about the manner in which the person eats. So take a close look at the Bible verse and don't be robbed of the blessings that God has in store for you. Stay tuned and watch out for the next audio on the Holy Communion. God bless. Share this video and bless a soul. Bye-bye.